perspective from victory perspective the title of my sermon is do it together i have chosen to use second king chapter 5 luke 1 verses 26 to 38 for my scripture thank you raise your hand if you've ever been told to do something that you just didn't want to do <laughs> like for me a kid how many of you heard or remember a day your parents tell you go and make your bed but if you're anything like me you may from time to time forget to do it or just not want to do it at all <laughs> well the bible tells us in second kings chapter 5 about a guy named naaman naaman was a military commander for the syrians <laughs> but Naaman had a terrible skin disease called leprosy. Leprosy was gross and it could really affect the way you looked. However, Naaman heard that there was a prophet in Israel who could heal him of his leprosy. <laughs> the prophet was named Elisha. And one day, Naaman went, one day Naaman went to Elisha's house with a huge gift and asked him to heal, heal him. When Naaman arrived at Elisha's house, he was greeted by a servant. Naaman told the servant that he was here to see Elisha. When the servant went to Elisha, Elisha told the servant to go tell Naaman to go and wash seven times in the Jordan River and your skin will be completely healed. However, this made Naaman extremely angry. And he said, I thought he, Elisha, would certainly come out to meet me, call the name of the Lord his God down over the spots of my leprosy and I would be healed. Then Naaman walked then he walked away in a rage. Later, one of Naaman's servants tried to reason with him, saying, If the man of God had said something difficult to you, would you have done it? So you should certainly obey him when he says something as easy like, Go and wash, and you will be healed. After this, Naaman obeyed. Everyone say, Obey. Obey. At, after this, Naaman obeyed and went and washed seven times in the Jordan River, and he was completely healed. Hearing something is one thing, but doing is a whole nother. Because doers get it done. Say after me, doers, doers, get, it get, doers get it done. done. <laughs> <laughs> At times, I can be like me, like when I need help with my math homework. <laughs> when I need help with my math homework, my parents tell me to go to my super math genius brother. He's kind of like Elisha. And like David, I want him just to wave his hand over me and give me the answers to my math. <laughs> when he helps me, I don't really like the way he does it, so I want to cry or just want to give up, just like Naaman. But eventually, I listen to my super math genius brother, a.k.a. Elisha, and I'm able to figure out my math homework and get it done. Because doers get it done. Say after me. Doers get it done. Doers get it done. A doer that got it done was Mary when she was a young girl just like me. The angel Gabriel told her that she was gonna have a baby. Me having a baby now, that's crazy. However, Mary didn't freak out or say this in the way she thought God was gonna handle her life. No, she said, behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let it be according to your word, because doers get it done. Say after me, doers, doers get, get it done. done. Doers, doers get, get it done. done. <laughs> like me and his lover, me with my math homework, I believe in my student class or honestly, life would be too boring. Mary obeyed and her entire life was an adventure because doers get it done. Say after me, doers get it done. Doers get it done. Today, I know God wants us to hear his voice, understand his instructions and get the mission accomplished because doers get it done. <laughs>